Welcome to N60. I'm Peter White, and my guest today is John Glass from a new business called 64 Plus. Welcome, John. Thank you, Peter, and good to be with you. John, we're looking for short, sharp answers. You can pass on any questions, and your time starts now. Thank you. Best thing about your current job? I work part-time as a retirement coach, so I love the flexibility. It gives me time for other activities. I do quite a bit of writing. I've even written a play which has been performed. So that's what gives me most pleasure, being able to do many things. Could you pick one investment to fund your whole retirement? Well, I think if it exists, it would be a diversified equity portfolio with nice juicy dividend flow and good capital preservation, et cetera, et cetera. That sounds good to me. Pineapple on pizza? I think I'm against it. I believe I had it once when I was a kid, but nowadays eggs, pineapples don't belong near pizza for me. What's the best investment you've ever made personally? I think buying into some tech stocks recently was a very good move, as is commonly known. They've done particularly well. What's the first thing you'll do in retirement? When I move from part-time work as a retirement coach to full-time retirement, I'll have a long session with my retirement coach. That's me. How long will that be? The session itself probably lasts a week <laughs> and I might retire in a few years' time. How much do you think the average Australian needs to fund their retirement? How much do they need in super? Yeah, it's commonly said a million dollars. Now, there are so many factors that impinge upon that, such as how long you're going to live for. But I've always liked the rule of 20, which is you've got X dollars in your account, divide it by 20 and ask yourself, can I live off that amount for a year? Super fund industry consolidation, yes or no? seems to be as inevitable as the sun rising in the east in the morning. My concern is that when it happens, if it does, there'll be a, a drying up of the talent pool of people who work in super funds because there'll only be a few of them left. Will we see negative interest rates in Australia, do you think? We're on a knife's edge. It could easily happen. But when it did happen in Northern Europe a few years ago, I must admit, I found it so confusing psychologically as well as mathematically. I found it very confusing, so I don't claim to understand it. What's your biggest investment regret? I thought that buying call options, and this goes back four decades, would be a very good thing to do. I thought buying call options on stock would mean the stock would go up in price and I'd make a lot of money. Unfortunately, that didn't happen and I lost all my money in purchasing that call option. But I did go on to become a participant in the options market, so I must have learned something from that mistake. Best investor of all time? I thought about this carefully. I suspect a lot of people would say Warren Buffett. He's obviously an amazing guy, but I'd like to nominate George Soros. Why? Because he seems to have pulled off some very large investment positions and made a lot of money, and now he's in the philanthropy game. John, thanks for speaking to us today. Pleasure.